Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode we fought Guzma or Guzma, still don't really know, in Mali Garden and uh, we nearly died. But we also evolved a Rockruff, the event Rockruff, into the event uh, Lycanroc and it's pretty incredible. It's still got focus banned. I think I'll keep it on for now because it's it's pretty decent um, as, a, as a held item, you know, just means you don't get knocked out in one shot and I feel like that might be helpful but I trained it up a little bit off screen the only thing it could learn in that time was stealth rock uh, which is pretty decent but I, I'm not really going to use it as that kind of Pokemon indeed the Pokemon in general in in the single player campaign does not lend itself so much towards using legitimate tactics it's just throw everything at it and see what happens at least that's how it works in my brain didn't work in the last trial we did but or it did work using a different strategy in the last trial I don't even know what I'm I didn't even know what I'm trying to say greetings rabbit indeed let's move on to something which makes sense as, as bizarre as that means. Well met, I was seeking you. If you're going to travel to Ula Ula, you ought to do it while astride a Mudsdale. There is no call for hesitation. Consider it my thanks for Akala Island. I now have access to a fucking Mudsdale. Unfortunately, it's not a member of my team. That would have been fun for the last trial. Indeed it would. Uh, it was remiss of me to not, not to register for you when we met one another on, in Mali or something. I was just so taken aback by Lively and how lovely she was that it escaped me. Uh, by, but by, by no means was I waiting for a time when you were in trouble. Indeed. Love that Pokemon. It's it's amazing and wonderful. Let me pose a question. Do you know of the Ultra Recon Squad? I, I sort of... I'm, I keep running into them. I'm not really helping them, but they just come up from time to time. They seem to be here to investigate some ill investigate some ill that weighs heavily upon them. Luckily, it, it is, in, it is keep, quite in keeping with the po Pokemon and people of Alola to help those in need. If you seek the, the next trial, go straight on through here to Tapu Village. I'll be cheering for you on your island challenge. In I, like, how does the how does the ride pager work? Where are we getting this Pokemon from? Because no, that's that's Charizard. Hang on, I pressed in the wrong buttons. But because I just it, does it teleport? Does it teleport? Is is that again with the whole? Um, I'm trying to think. What, what am I thinking of? Is that no uh, touch screen? Is that with the whole kind of uh, tears in space and time which this game is going for? That we can just magically transport a Mudsdale to our immediate location and, you know, use it to traverse some slightly rocky terrain, which apparently isn't something that Tauros can do, even though, you know, it's a, it's a wild stampeding Pokemon. You can probably just level all of this out by going through it, but apparently we need something new. That's okay. I'd also question the, the need to have this, really, but I guess kind of a, you know... A, a, a way of keeping you on your toes and making sure you understand mechanics because it's just a, a roadblock that you're immediately given the solution for. You don't have to think of how you would go about getting through there. You're just given the exact solution. Just press the right buttons in the right order and you'll be fine. Anyway, punk people who turn into skull people. Like, talk about profiling. Well, not even profiling, but like, you are going to be these kind of people in late later in life. So... You haven't got any hope of doing anything else. Maybe that's kind of a, a larger, l the larger tragedy of, of Team Skull or something. Let's, uh, if I use Thrash, I'll hit Scarlet as well, won't I? Well, let's have some fun. Um, <laughs> I just want to see if, I just want to see what happens, okay? Um, you know, to do or die, to do or to die, I don't know, Pancham was never here. It's, it's, a, it's a, you know, it was like an illusion or something. I should probably focus on yeah that's actually quite lucky I don't know if I can hit Scarlet probably can I don't know but it doesn't really matter in the end but I would like to switch up my team slightly because if there are double battles I'd like Sensei to be the other riding shotgun basically because I need some levels on those Pokemon I did a bit of grinding like I said but I didn't really get them that close to the levels of the other Pokemon like I well like I said, but like I did last episode, very good time to turn XP share off, because we've done what we need to do with it. Let's get off, no, let's get off the Pokemon and go through here. Because I'm exploring now, who's that? I'll fight you, I'll fight everybody, I need the levels I feel. It's important for Pokemon to be cute and strong. Yeah, I'd say so. Although maybe not if you're doing the contest, because they are indeed separate categories that don't really work. She had a, t uh, a Tortuga, which kind of works for whole cute and strong thing, which it means you know, it's water type Pokemon. It took out Kalima, but that's okay. I've got time to give Sensei some uh, some much needed love, because kind of being the butt of a few jokes, because it's not very strong. Does have some strong moves now, so should be able to turn that around in some way. Maybe. Oh, God, a Graveler. Oh, I love the. I mean. 
I don't think I had one. What, my, my previous experiences of this route is that I had a uh, uh, a shiny uh, Alolan Geo dude. That's the Pokemon, and it used self it used self destruct, and it just died. It just it was there and gone. It's like it's I forget if it's golden. I think it was golden. It's incredible. It's a beautiful sight, and it just did this immediately. I was like, fuck me. Why do we? Why do we? Why do we suffer? What is the point of pain if there's no gratification involved? I don't know. I have I've gotten a shiny golem uh, from other means. I think from grinding in in Victory Road in one generation, eventually finding one after so many encounters. Not because I was looking for one, they just turned up and it's like, okay, I'll have one of them as well. It didn't occur to me that they might have self oh, yeah that they might have self destruct and. Uh, I'm pretty sure I caught that Pokemon, I looked at the moves, and I thought, Oh! It had self-destruct all along. It could have died at any moment. I should have been a bit quicker with how I caught it, so... You know, swings and roundabouts. You win some, you lose some. Just gotta, you know, learn how to ride the wins and... Or, or ride the losses, if anything. Sort of get through them in, in some kind of safe way. Psychic, by the way. Now we've actually got a good move, which does some good things. Kind of scary. Uh... I got rid of my dark move, didn't I? Let's... Uh, Sandy Gas is a ground type. Uh, I don't wanna... Um, fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some good experience for Pokemon. While also not really putting ones that don't need to be put into danger. In danger. Because it's unnecessary. I wanted one of these. I did. But... I, my, my only real option with my starter Pokemon was... Rowlet, and that would give me a ghost type, and having two lots of ghost type, it's not the best idea. Using Mega Drain on a Fire Flying, also not the best idea, especially because I don't really know why it has Mega Drain. Like, sand can absorb some water. That makes sense. Yes, it's a it's a sentient sandcastle. Nintendo, you do, doing the doing the crazy Pokemon designs that no one can really keep up with at this stage. Anyway, coming to. Tapu Village at some point, just up here. Uh, oh, that's not that's not Tapu Village. This is, in fact, the way to the Blush Mountain Observatory or something, or the whatever it is. This is where you can get some really interesting Pokemon, and indeed some Togedemaru, I feel. I'm an office worker, or you could say I'm a business guy. They mean the same thing. I don't think we have to come up here for any reason other than to check out Blush Mountain. Hello, Magnemite. How are you? Um, hello. How are you doing? It's staring at me. Which, which, um, oh, it's an interactive Pokemon again. Wave goodbye. Because I'm not here to play with Magnemites. I'm sorry. They're kind of... It's not quite adorable... Not quite as adorable as the Rockruff. You can explain what this Magnemite's doing. Perhaps it's the influence of the power plant by electric Pokemon that I never used to see. Now come here. Such as a Togedemaru. This is indeed where you can catch a Togedemaru. If I wanted a Togedemaru, I would catch one right here. My headphones are slipping off. Ah, let me find someone to talk to. I can see a Totem sticker. Okay. Save the headphones. It's fine. I forget what they're, really, what they're doing here other than... Uh, hydroelectric? Ah, keep hitting my mom. My, 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 just alter that slightly. There you go. Lovely work, everybody. 19! I can nearly get a raticate. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm one of the researchers here at the geothermal. Geothermal. There's some water on the picture on the left, though. Geothermal power plant. Uh, I guess it is a mountain. Or a volcano or something. Magnemite's going crazy. Uh, oh, Magnemite, not again. How many times do I have to tell you? If you suck up all the electricity at once, we lose power and the whole place goes dark. And then some magic happens. Some scary things happen. Eh? What happened in the dark? Sorry, I hope you weren't frightened uh, just now. That Magnemite is actually my Pokemon. I'm really sorry if it gave you a shock. I'll give you this scintillating TM since I'm sorry. Did not know that this was here, but I'll take Embargo. Okay, that makes sense. I would have preferred, like, Thunderbolt. It'd be more relevant. Magnemite sure, uh, Magnemites love electricity, but the power of my place got shut off. Uh, so I bring it here to the power station like this sometimes, but it seems like the fresh power from this place is a particular flavor. A flavor which it seems to like. Uh, I mean, we've, we we found this place. We can come back to it if there's anything interesting there, but I don't think there is. Uh, I think my uh, in-game clock now says... Well, I, it's still still from 5 a.m. as a result of... Can I show that now? If I do save? Uh, yeah, it's 5.52 a.m. as my in-game clock. It's not that as I'm recording it, because I needed it in order to evolve my rock rock into the, the Dusk Lichen Rock. But I'm trying to work out what that means for the uh, the the general uh, tone. I don't know the general color of the sky in the game at the moment. Rabid, because it seems dark and it's not. Maybe it's just 
brainy or something. Phew, that Togemaru was strong, but I managed to get through this trial too. You maybe even managed to get a bit stronger, eh? Uh, I heard from Sophocles how you just breezed through that trial yourself, Rapid! Did you now? I think he might have been lying or flattering me in some way. It was something else. I, I know. You should take this. Can it be like a way- can it be like a ground-type Pokemon just to have in my back pocket when I need it? You only need- you only have one volume, don't you? Uh, haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? Oh god, he's really angry now. Uh, why is he there, though? God, he's back! Uh, listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? Probably not. What? Uh, not that we tell you. I mean, yes we do. Um, so you do know something. He can pick it up, I like it. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but it has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. Uh, if something like that happened, it would be, be a disaster for Alolo. Uh, a disaster? Like, a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Uh, protect it. If you do know where Cosmog is, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. Some weird things going on outside, I'm just <laughs> distracted by that. Uh, I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not uh, trust me or care, but I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. It's very serious. You should lighten up, and also trim your hair, because from that angle you look very strange. I still, don't even, I still don't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean, no matter what? You're just going to leave us hanging? And he's gone. Okay. Generally, when you're talking about things as a as a massively dangerous thing, don't be vague, Rabbit. Uh, if they're really looking for Cosmog, then is Lily going to be okay? Probably. Uh, I don't really get what's going on, but we've got just uh, just got to keep both of them safe, right? Uh, th then I know what I'm going to do. I'll take on the next trials to train with my partner. Yeah, look, I know Guzma is Guzma. Is it Guzma or Guzma? I still don't. Guzma was saying all those things, but I really want to complete my own challenge and help Pokemon help pe help Pokemon. People learn about Pokemon battling. And, I don't know, I've got to make sure I really get what my partner's feeling too. Got to learn how to synergize with your partner Pokemon. Don't know what that was outside. I saw like a uh, a dog just loose and I think it's... it's. I think someone's taking care of it or something, I'm not sure. It is uh, nearby where I live at least, not actually in the garden. Anyway, Professor Oaks wants to talk to you. Oh well, hello there, it's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some totem stickers. You should come stop by Heya Heya Beach. Indeed. Um, I don't really need to at the moment, because it's just going to give me an Alolan Raticate, and that's kind of cool, but... I, how does it change, by the way? Because I feel like it, it does change in some way. They are larger, but that's, you know, size is not everything. Size is not indicative of anything in particular, but... Are they stronger? Can you use them in competitive Pokemon battling? Do they have increased base stats? All these questions, which I feel like... You know, could apply, could maybe mean a thing. There's a Team Skull member there. Getting all- oh, getting all the totem stickers. Might get all of them by the end. Watch, you got a problem, shot stack. I can't even stand guard even when I'm squat- even when I'm squatting. I don't know. Can you stand guard when you're squatting? That is a- <clears throat> that's for life- life lesson which I've never really been taught. Anyway, this is Tapu Village. It's not much of a village. It's kind of busted. Tapu Village. The village was named that because the Tapu appeared here to protect Mount Lanakila, which reaches up so close to both the sun and the moon. Uh, but all, all that's left now, le all that's left of it now is the name. Because somebody broke it or something. It's a little bit, a little bit worse for wear, really. How didn't get very far before he felt the need to talk to us again. Phew, look, Rabbit. Uh, seems like we're almost to the ether, for ether house where the captain is supposed to be, huh? <clears throat> it's all good. Also, there's a staircase up there. So this way lies Mount Delanaquila, huh? I guess they're really making a Pokemon League up there on the peak. Yeah, I heard a, a Pelipper or something in the background. The professor told me that Pokemon Leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in them that they call the Elite Four. Indeed. Kind of works that way as well in this game. The Elite Four in our island kahunas. I wonder which I wonder which ones are stronger. I'm pretty sure my Gramps is the strongest, but I can't wait to find out for sure. Well, it's going to take a while till we get there, because we can only challenge the Elite Four once we've done a few things. Uh, hey, Alola. Uh, and Alola to you, Rabbit and Hal. Yes, Alola with the square and everything. Hmm, I shall kind of do it a bit easier. So, this is Tapu Village. We must learn all, all we can about this place. It seems there are many stories in the past, but once, long ago, the Blinding One battled against the Tapu in this spot. Hmm, intriguing. Uh, it's thought the power that came pouring out of the Ultra Wormhole at that time may be the source of Z-Power's move. Or Z-Move's power. Yes, the light of that blind- uh, uh, yes, the light of that blinding one. I mean the light that the Necrozma can wield. 
still don't know how Necrozma is related to this story, but I'm interested to find out. Our ancestors, our ancestors were greedy, though. They thought they sought to control all of Necrozma's light. They hurt Necrozma. They left it incomplete, and in such a state, it went mad with fury. Dog loose again. <laughs> Just so curious. And so our light was stolen by Necrozma. Hmm. Not good. Our world is at peace now thanks to the Megalo Tower, which keeps the Blinding One contained. But we believe the tower is reaching its limit, and the Blinding One, Necrozma, hungers for light. That's a weird thing to be hungering for, like, you know, burgers maybe, but light? Bit weird. Everything's good? Okay, I'm just checking outside periodically. The Blinding One may run wild in its fury, but it did also give us light once. We would, uh, we would like to help restore the Blinding One to its true form. But we do not have even the slightest idea of how we can do that. If you learn anything that you think, you think might help, will you share it with us, human? After all, you are far more familiar with the Z moves than we are. Hmm. What are these Pokemon you speak of? Alola, humans, goodbye. I will see you later. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to doing their voices, or just FICO's voice nowadays. I don't really get what all the, uh, I don't really get what all that was about. But it seems like those Ultra Recon Squad people are in a pretty hopeless spot, spot huh? I just wish everyone could be happy and find something to smile about, even that Necrozma. Right, Rabbit? Sure. Uh, I'm still trying to work out if the Ultra Recon Squad are evil. Because, I mean, they seem to have a genuine goal of, you know, restoring some kind of parity to their world. But also Necrozma, famously legendary Pokemon, famously has, like, different forms. In fact, the, the, uh, the box mascot of this game is, I think it's form when it's with the legendary Pokemon of Moon, which is Lunala. So I'm curious how that's going to play out. Do I want to go to the supermarket down here? Is this what we're going to go right now in this kind of, I guess kind of like basalt? This might be basalt or it could be something else. Like I know anything about geology and what rocks look like, but this black beach in a way. Hello, hiker. Tell me what, what's going on. You want to hear something funny? I heard that there's a Pikachu that knows the move Surf. Maybe if you were like the best Mantine Surfer ever, you might somewhere, someday get to meet it. Is that how that works? Can I get a surfing Pikachu if I do really well at Mantine Surfing? I like to think that's what Nintendo would do, but I think they also appreciate the fact that it's uh, almost an exclusive Pokemon. Do I want to do the trial now? No is the answer I'm looking at right now. I don't know if I even can right now, but I'd like to do it at some point. Can I talk to you? Are you going to mention that it's it's here? This old place is actually a trial site. I can't let you in unless the captain says it's okay. Okay, that is interesting, so I can't do it now. But there are a whole load of things here, including this totem sticker that I'm going to steal away from the Murkrow. Cry about it. I'm. Uh, you probably want it, but I have it now. Hello. How you doing? I want rare Pokemon. I'll go anywhere due to my tenacity. That sounds scary. Can't help but feel like the line, I, w I will go anywhere because of my ten tenacity is more to do with I will do anything for Pokemon. I will break laws. I will I will trespass just for Pokemon. I want to see what this ball is, even if it takes me to a slightly roundabout way of getting a max potion. That's fine. I need the healing because I take lots of damage these days. But, you know, the game's not getting harder, but it's expecting more of me, and I might need to be slightly stronger in order to counteract these problems. So, I can't do the trial now, but before the end of the episode, I'd like to be in a position where I can do it at the start of the next episode. I forget how we do that, but I imagine going to the, the giant red flag on the screen could help. I'm a coming! I can make it through here in the rain, in the, in the grim weather. Like, this is supposed to be like Hawaii, right? Does it rain in Hawaii? I imagine fairly often, because it's... It's, it's a little bit exposed to the elements. It's why there's other terrifying weather as well. Anyway, here's the Ether House. They've got an Oranguru. I can get behind that. Wait up, Rabbit. So this is the Ether House. Ether House, eh? Indeed. Oh, God. Children. Strangers. Bloody children. The hell are you doing? This means battle. Oh, God. Uh, what? Why? Indeed, how? We'll protect our home when Ace of Rollers away. Fucking children. You piece of shit. Okay. Am I fighting both of them or is Hal fighting with me? Oh, I just gotta fight this guy. Okay. Is it an interesting Pokemon battle or can I skip through an Ella kid? Get the fuck out of here. Don't step to me when I've got a psychic type which knows psychic, you little shit. I tried really hard. I am a kid, you know. I'll take you down. Phew, so I won, yeah? That's why this little fellow uh, that's why this still little fellow's still gnawing on me. It's still chewing your knee your your shin or something. That's bad. I'm back, everybody. Yeah, Ace of Rollers here. Everything makes sense now. Ha ha ha, looks like I finished up my shopping spree right on time. You already met everybody. You've already met everyone? Yes, probably. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, we met all right, in battle anyway. But hey, where's Lily? Around. Uh, I left her with Hapu. Uh, they should be coming soon. Oh, Hapu that, okay. 
Everyone's got an H name. How, Hapu, Hala. They're all they're all the same person. So what uh what why don't we get those trials done first? You did know I'm a captain, right? Um but she has an armband on, which means one of a couple of things. She mentioned her family is basically royalty, so you know, uh either that or that's what trial captains wear, I don't really know. My trial takes place at the abandoned site where the supermarket used to be. When you want to go, I'll meet you out front of Ether of Aoife House. Ether House and show you the way. That's fine, let's go. Don't have to do much in here at the moment. We come back here, here later, but it's not that important. And what do you think you're doing? Stop it. Stop it right now. Just randomly find a Team Skull. You found the one Team Skull grunt on the island, basically. For real, girl? Uh, your bag was moving right in front of my eyes, and I'm just supposed to ex ignore that? If you got some rare Pokemon in there, I'm gonna have to take it and make some cash. Uh, even if it's not that rare of a Pokemon, I bet I could still get paid, yo. I mean... It's a good argument, I feel, but <laughs> it's a bit of a, a low, low-hanging fruit argument. Rabbit. Yeah, let's go. Saving Lily over here. Oh, so we're following the script, are we? A trainer dashes forward to save the girl, huh? I'm not gonna let you be the hero in this scene. So you wanna be the hero in this scene. You're not really the... You're not... You must know you're on the wrong side of the, the story and the lore. And the fable which you're apparently making in your head, like, what you, the best you can hope for is that you're the maniacal villain who just sort of pushes me out the way and says, I'm taking that Pokemon, you know? I don't really think that rubs very well off on you in the slightest. This could be a stally battle. I'd prefer it if it isn't. I actually, thinking ahead, I probably want to get rid of Nasty Plot for something like Calm Mind. Just so I can be like really specially defensive bulky and also, you know, specially attackingly good or something. I don't know. Wake up slap, sure. I wasn't asleep though. I love that move by the way, because I think it it will do double damage against uh, Pokemon who are asleep. But it'll also wake them up, which is kind of a, a catch-22 in a way. It's a rock and a hard place. You can you can do loads of damage to them, but also, you know, it's not very good for, you know, keeping them asleep or something. I don't know. Or you use it on the last turn that they're going to be asleep and just ruin their day or something. I don't know. Psychic with time up plus four only does half health. So that's good. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a strong attack. That's fine. I have an itchy beard. Oh, I got an itchy beard. That's not good. I did trim it recently. I actually I, I made my video at the weekend. And there were at least a few people saying, Hey, you need to trim your beard. You need to you need to cut your beard or something. I have! It wasn't it wasn't as ridiculous in that video. Because I had my two weeks off and I just grew it out and I, I looked like a, a, a nomad or someone who's never seen a razor before. So I, I trimmed it down. What, what more do you want? When I saw that adorable drowsy, that was enough for me. Later. Very easily defeated, clearly. You had one Pokemon. Phew, thank you, Rabbit. You should bring more Pokemon. Bring some Zubats. That's what I would do. I just wanted to uh, go for a stroll on my own to see what it would, um, what it must feel like to be a trainer. So Hapu and I went our separate ways. But then Nebby tried to get out of my bag. Just lock the damn thing. <laughs> Didn't you? Go on, you little troublemaker. You better thank Rabbit too. It's just, it's very. I mean, I know it's powerful, but just lock the damn thing. Oh, and um, when I was out shopping, I kept thinking about how I wanted to be some help to you during your island challenge, and then I saw these. Are they TMs? Luxury balls are not brilliant, but that, you know, I appreciate the effort. I appreciate the, the intention. I bought them without even thinking. You could, quick balls. I'd have gone with quick balls. Oh, Lily. Um, everyone's got the same fucking voice. What's the matter? You look all worn out. Uh, do you want to rest at Ether House a while? Uh, oh, Ace Roller. Thank you. I think I might uh, might take you up on that. And then we go to the, the weird supermarket in the south. And you, Rabbit. We can reach my trial site from Tappy Village. Come on, follow me. Don't want to do it right now, though. I'd like to end the episode off. Just going that way. Okay. As if we couldn't find it before. Anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. In the next episode, we're going to go take on the ghost trial in the abandoned supermarket. I forget how much we know about that already, but I know fairly a decent amount about it. It was one of my favorite trials when we did it originally, but I imagine it might have changed since then. So, some mild concern of mine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.